Striker Scorpion 82 is now sponsored by Warhammer Combat Cards, a card battle game featuring your favourite Citadel miniatures from the 40k universe. Build your army decks, dominate opponents in player versus player action, collect and upgrade cards to fit your strategy, improve their power and unlock unique traits. Choose from all 40k factions, take part in campaigns based on iconic 40k battles, rise to the top of the leaderboard and win glory. Free to download and play, link is in the video description below or on the channel homepage, and by using the unique link, it helps support the channel. Thanks and enjoy the game. Right, welcome to this update video uh, for the channel. I'll cover the Plus channel and YouTube all together in one video, and it's going to be a faction update as well. So I'm going to go through all the factions, give you an update on those also. Uh, a fair bit to cover in, in this video, and I've brought in a little bit of work from the painting desk as well, just to show you what's on the way, just to give you a full update to let you know what's going on. A lot of people ask and say, you know, what, what battles are coming, what armies are going to be ready, uh, updates on the channel and so on, so I lump it all together in this one video, just to give you an idea of what's going on and what's to come in the future as well. So what I'll do is I'll go through some of the updates, uh, and then... Uh, once those are all out of the way, we'll go for all of the factions here, just to give you an idea uh, of how the armies uh, are doing. We're making pretty good progress. Been dedicating a fair bit of time to getting armies painted up. Obviously, chapter approved, 2019 has come along, and I've been trying to update the lists. Some lists just needed an update. Others I've, I've reconfigured uh, and overhauled them, just to try and bring them up to standard as well. But it means when you've got a nice variety of armies, it means you're sort of painting entirely different units, and it's been uh, good fun painting up uh, different units, different factions over the last couple of months. So I'll cover the Plus channel first of all. Uh, there's some important announcements for that. Uh, I've been trying to revamp the Plus channel, make it a better experience. So uh, one of the requests that people were making was, can you make the videos downloadable? So I've gone through the entire library on the Plus channel, all the previous battle reports and all the new content. It's all downloadable now. So uh, if you find yourself somewhere where you've got bad internet connection or you know you're going to be traveling somewhere or going to a destination where there's bad internet, then you can pre-download the stuff and you can watch the content uh, on the go. Uh, I wasn't sure as to how useful that was, but I was uh, making a, a trip on a bus, on a coach, and they had Wi-Fi, it wasn't very good, uh, and I could just look at sort of Instagram, but I couldn't stream videos, which is annoying. So if you're able to pre-download your content, uh, then you're able to watch it, whether you've got decent internet connection or not. So uh, that's one of the features now on the Plus channel. You can download the content and watch it uh, whenever you need to. Second is uh, one of the reasons why I shifted over to a new website for the Plus channel uh, is the ability to have apps. And one of those apps is now live. Uh, so very excited about that. So if you're a user for the, on the Android platform, then uh, you can go over to Google Play and you can use uh, the Striking Scorpion 82 uh, Plus channel app. And I've been using it, it's, it's really nice. I mean, I've got an app, for example, on my phone for Netflix. You can just tap on the app icon, and it's a real nice experience just to use uh, the specific app uh, and just to navigate around with that. It's a great job. So it's been in quite a lot of demand to, uh, to get one done. Uh, so Android is gone through the testing stage. Uh, they seem happy enough with it, so it's now available to use. Uh, it's obviously free to download. Uh, so if you're already on the Plus channel and you're using Android, Go on to Google Play uh, and you can search for uh, SS82 Plus, that's the name of the app, uh, and then you can just download that and you can use it and now you can watch the content uh, by using the Android app for the Plus channel. So very excited about that because we really want a decent experience for people uh, on the Plus channel, uh, so uh, very happy that's become available. For those of you on iOS, uh, that's uh, been worked on at the moment. Uh, the two are, submitted the two together but the one that's become available first is for Android but now uh, the iOS app hopefully will be available soon for those of you using uh, Apple or iPhones and so on then you're able to use the iOS and I'll announce that when that becomes available as well uh, then as for uh, a lot of a lot of people have been asking uh, you're running a league we're on season eight for our leagues now uh, for our uh, league battle reports 
um, and you know, up to about potentially over 20 armies can be involved in this league and you're able to score points then we get a champion at the end of the season so I've been trying to enhance the way that people can track what's going on with that so uh, what I've done now is put on the plus channel there is a, a, a tab that says league and you uh, click on that and then that will show you the status of all the armies so whether they're near the starting stage halfway there almost finished or battle ready it'll give you a full update for the armies so you'll know which army is ready to go and, and then on that same page uh, is the actual league table so it'll give you the results for our games uh, it'll give you uh, the points scored and who's where in the league and then uh, it's all set out ready for the final knockout stage of the league as well uh, you don't have to be a member of the Plus channel to access that. That's free to everybody. So you can go onto the Plus channel, strikerscorpion82plus.tv, and then uh, there's a load of tabs at the top. Click on League, and then you can see all the information. You don't have to log in, don't have to sign up. It's just free for anyone to use at any point. Just as it means that anybody watching the videos and is interested in the League, they can keep track of what's going on. Uh, and then also I've created a tab called Armies, and on that there's uh, some graphics to the armies and an introduction to all the different armies that we have. That's my armies, James, Tom Covia's armies, he has Aaron Allen's armies, all introduced. Uh, introducing some of the names of the characters that have appeared uh, as the seasons have gone by. So just to give you a flavour of the different armies that we have available as well. And again, that tab uh, is uh, accessible. You don't have to log in. It's just you can navigate to that whether you're a member of the Plus channel or not. So uh, trying to make the Plus Channel sort of a real sleek, nice package for you to enjoy. And the way we're running the season battle reports is uh, one half of them are here over on, on YouTube. And then the other half of the season battle reports are over on the Plus Channel. So I uh, want to keep a nice sort of free content going on YouTube, of course. Uh, but if you really want to help support the channel and then enjoy loads of extra content, including half of the season battle reports, then uh, you can check out uh, the Plus Channel channel for all of that content plus uh, there's army development videos in-depth painting tutorials the space hulk series uh, as well a lot of other unique videos on the plus channel as well and it means that you sign up to that and it help it means that it can support me in making all of the content and as a reward for your support you get access to all of the content on the plus channel so uh, that's pretty much the update for the plus channel uh, so good progress there some nice uh, enhancements to the plus channel which I'm very happy about. Uh, the next announcement is for uh, Striker Scorpion 82 merchandise. People have been asking about that. Got some different ideas in the pipeline uh, but for now uh, I have a Teespring page and that's not just t-shirts. They do t-shirts, tank tops, uh, hoodies, jumpers, stickers, phone covers, mugs, they do all sorts of stuff. Uh, that whole store has been set up and is up and running now. There's a link in the video description below, or there is a link if you're using desktop, uh, there is a link on the channel homepage as well, uh, but it's the SS82 uh, merchandise store, and on there you get a hold of your Striker Scorpion 82 merchandise, with all the brand new revamped logo and so on, and again, uh, you get a hold of your merchandise, and then uh, that helps support the channel as well so teespring and you know i've gone to teespring decent quality and they have good interaction with youtube uh, as well so uh, people saying well, you know what battles are coming next what's the idea, the idea of this season is uh we're going to play two games for all the factions uh in other seasons for example last season the orcs played 12 games and i think the thousand sons played two and it's not really fair so i want to try and make it so we play as many factions as possible it forces us to get armies ready uh, and to get a nice lot of variety for our battles as well and it means that if you're a fan of one particular faction at least you're getting a fair representation uh, in the season and already we've seen with the results that have come through already a real disturbance uh, of the status quo tau taking a hammering uh, and other units that haven't had a chance or other armies that haven't had a chance to shine have actually been performing very well so Drakari, for example necrons have been doing well and so a real shake up this season hope that makes for some great entertaining battle reports for you to enjoy as well so as far as what's on the way now you can go to the plus channel and check the army status to see what armies are battle ready. So if an army's got a, a green marker next to it, it's battle ready, it means it's available for battle reports. You get an idea of what's to come. If it's a yellow marker, uh, almost finished, I'm literally finishing off a couple of units, and that army should be ready to use as well. So that'll give you an indication of what's to come. 
Uh, but armies that we're planning to use soon, I'm working on at the moment, would be uh, Tyranids. I'm going to get them revamped. The Thousand Sons, uh, which I'm going to show you a little bit here. Uh, and then uh, the Imperial Fists want to get sorted out as well. And actually, Imperial Knights are quite close to getting ready as well. So exciting times ahead. Some great factions uh, to appear in some of our battles. So I'm going to zoom in here. I've got Commander Shadow Suns finished. Here, uh, the new sculpt from Games Workshop. Uh, it's already appeared in one of the Ch Challenger Scorpion games and to appear again in a, a forthcoming challenge battle. Uh, and then I've been working on uh, updating my Thousand Suns with some Age of Sigma models. And then I've been painting up some Primaris models for my Blood Angels as well. So I'm going to zoom in here and give you an idea of what's on the painting desk at the moment. So there's Commander Shadow Thumb. Very happy with how she's come out. Great model and really impressed with the base. Similar to Drazar Master of Blades, the Drakari Games Workshop did a fantastic job of that sculpt. Real nice base work for that one. Again, the same with this base here. All those skulls and, and bullet cartridges all come as part of that kit. So, not every tower player is a fan of the new Shadow Sun model, but um, I really like the way she's come out here. So, paints up like so. And then this is the two drones you get with the kit as well. The Advanced Guardian Drone, which I think is this one. And then this one here uh, is the Command Link Drone as well. If you like this colour scheme for the tower, there is the painted tutorial here on YouTube, so you can follow it along and show you all the techniques, including how to do the base, uh, the weathering techniques, the chipping effects, the rusty effects, all these different colours and so on. Then you can follow that step by step. And if you come up against some bigger challenges like vehicles and uh, riptides and so on, then there is the in-depth painting tutorial as a resource on the Plus channel as well, just to guide you through some of the more intimidating bigger projects. That's that for the Tau. So currently using the Tau a fair bit, they haven't done too well in the league, so I'm experimenting and it's opened the way up to do some great fun uh, challenge battles with the Tau. So for the Thousand Suns, I've been constructing these here. So these are uh, the Eric Acolytes here. They're for Age of Sigma. Looks something like that. I want to use these as Chaos Cultists. Uh, and to bring them into 40k, because you can give them auto pistols and chainsaws. I've been using the spare chainsaws and auto pistols uh, from the Zangor set. So in that Zangor set for 40k, you get chainsaws and auto pistols. I've just been cutting them off at the wrist and off at the elbow here and sticking them on because the hands for the Zangles are quite human or very human like hands so they blended in really well so you get the, the body which would usually hold a shield and a sword or a close combat weapon of some kind and I've just been swapping it out for auto pistol and chainsaw and I've got my nice zinch themed cultists here and that's just to bring my thousand sons up to chapter proved levels for points and so on just to bulk the army out like so. If you want to see the, the full list for them is actually on the plus channel. It's a, a revamped uh, list that I've proposed for them there. That's, that's going to be one of the squad leaders. Br fantastic sculpting work here from Games Workshop. Real, really good zinch theme to these Chaos Cultist units. Then uh, Primaris Marines, for not quite finished yet, got transfers and so on to add to these intercessors for the Blood Angels. Uh, so I've got a work to do here on the squad markings as well on the knee pad. And I've got to add in uh, the company here, second company I think with the yellow blood drop and then the Blood Angels wings markings here as well. But the highlighting's finished on that red and the face and so on is done. Brilliant models. Uh, from Games Workshop, the Primaris Marines, big fan of them. They're very, very nice sculpts indeed. But that's what's on the desk at the moment. P painted up 15 of these for the revamped uh, Blood Angels list, just putting the finishing touches on uh, to these at the moment. Uh, and again, you know, on the channel, it's not just a, uh, the Battle Report channel, it's there as a hobby resource for you as well. So there is the painted tutorial for the Blood Angels uh, on YouTube. So if you want to reach achieve the same kind of results, to cover how to do the red uh, and how to paint that up and do all the edging and highlighting and so on, the face, all of that's covered in the Blood Angels painting tutorial and again on the Plus channel there's an in-depth painting tutorial I show you how to paint uh, a Battle Predator 
uh, using the same color scheme and all the extra weathering techniques and so on uh, for tanks in that video. But there he is, painted up here. Yeah, enjoying painting these. Uh, the face is a great sculpting work the Games Workshop have done uh, on those. And for the Blood Angels, I've done a lot of them bareheaded just to get the blonde hair uh, shown on as many models as possible. So that's what I'm working on at the moment. Just to give you an idea of a flavour of what's to come. Blood Angels Army to be finished off, Thousand Summers to be finished off. Uh, Tyranids, I've uh, literally got two models to paint up for them. Imperial Fist, a couple of unit, units to do. I'm going to add in a little bit of Primaris flavour to them. Uh, so, and again, all the details of those proposed lists. And you can even contribute and leave your own comments and feedback and help shape uh, what those armies will be in the future uh, is over on the Plus Channel in the Army Development video section. So I think that's pretty much it covered here so I'll let you know what's going on uh, with these factions here sort of hinted of what's going on with these at the moment so Drakari uh, are entirely finished and literally just yesterday filmed their second battle with these so they took on uh, Tom Covia's Red Scorpions he's joined the league now he's going to uh, use his uh, Red Scorpions possibly uh, his Adeptus Custodes as well uh, so Tom's first game in the Season 8 League, second battle for the Drakari. If they win that one, uh, then they should go through to the uh, the final uh, number that go through to the knockout stage. So uh, I, can't tell you, I can't tell you what happened, but it was an exceptionally close game uh, between those two armies. A real good matchup, completely different styled armies, you know, visually, tactics-wise, and they clashed uh, on the battlefield, and it was quite an amazing battle. So the opening game of the season was Drakari on YouTube, uh, their second game, it is on the Plus channel, so hope, hope to release that this week uh, for all to see, so that's Drakari versus Red Scorpions, that'll be their two games finished, uh, and then we'll see if they go to the, through to the final stages, uh, and in between that time, you know, they can appear in Challenger Scorpion uh, Battle Reports, no problems, that army's finished uh, and ready to use, so happy with them. Uh, I don't have the Tau Codex with me at the moment, but uh, just to update you on the Tau, uh, that army's battle ready, they've played their two games and they haven't done so well. So you keep a look out for those in challenge battle reports uh, as an experiment with the town, introducing some new units and trying out different rules from this book. Just to, I've, so I've got other models already painted out, quite a big collection, you know, apocalypse sized army for the town. So it's, a, it's created a good opportunity to use them in challenge games and to try different things uh, with them. Then, no particular order here. Uh, the Eldar, just uh, plenty of units painted up, a big collection of Eldar. So I reckon I'm going to go uh, down the route of uh, using as many models in a. I'm going to revamp the list and I'm going to use as many models I already have painted up and then maybe introduce a couple of models here and there, some new ones just to add in a bit of extra flavour uh, and then get those on the scene. Uh, soon enough so midway through the season I think we'll see the return of the Elder and there'll be pressure on them to do well and an opportunity for them also to try and go for the crown once again uh, the next one is I need to just get that out of there because that's the secret project there that secret project's doing okay I'd say it's maybe about a third of the way uh, but could quite quickly make some pretty good progress uh, for that, it will start making appearances in games on the Plus Channel first, and then once the entire army is ready, uh, and if we get it ready in time for the League, then uh, it can play some League battles uh, here on YouTube and on the Plus Channel. It'll be exciting to see that uh, secret project uh, making an appearance. Then Imperial Knights uh, literally have to paint up two models, which is doesn't sound very much, it's quite big for Imperial Knights, because obviously Knights are big enough. I have the models in place, need to construct them, build them, and that'll take the Imperial Knights to, to 2,000 points, and they could be making an appearance in the not-so-distant future. That's a pure Imperial Knights army uh, fighting in the league, which would be exciting. So it's very unique to see Imperial Knights fighting entirely by themselves and to have a 2,000 points army of them, and it creates quite an interesting challenge going up against them, for sure. Then uh, the Harlequins... I've uh, gone on a big build project of those, so I've actually built a whole load of the models, virtually all of them now, which is quite a good stride ahead because it takes a, a good while to, to build them all up. Uh, the next stage will be 
to uh, continue painting. I've painted some units for them already. Uh, we've got a plan for those to get them on the battlefield, uh, which I might announce in the future for these, but uh, be on standby for the Harlequins. I'm desperate to get them on the battlefield because they are uh, visually a fantastic faction, brilliant play style, and an army that can fight against anything, fight against all the Imperials, against the Xenos, against Chaos, so a great uh, army to have uh, on the channel for sure. Very colorful and, and beautiful sculpts, so still a massive fan uh, of the Harlequins itching to get them painted up, but it takes time for sure with Harlequins. Uh, then uh, the Thousand Suns, uh, an update proposed on the Plus channel for those, literally two units to paint up and hope to see those back in action uh, quite soon for them. The plans to get them in action quite soon. So literally within the next three or four weeks, hopefully we'll see the Thousand Suns uh, playing some league battles and see how well they do uh, in the season eight league. Uh, the Orcs, a similar plan with these, because uh, again I want to do as many armies as possible in the league, uh, with the Orcs a similar plan with them uh, as with the Eldar, to use existing units and to uh, revamp the list, change it around perhaps, uh, and then to get them back in action as soon as possible as well, and again good big collection of the Orcs, so I want to draw, mostly draw on units I already have painted up, and then just get them on the battlefield and let them uh, plunge into the league as well. Uh, the Admech, that army is uh, revamped, that army is now finished, entirely revamped, and they've played uh, one of their league games already, uh, which is here on YouTube, uh, and then they'll need to play a second game, and that'll get their two games done out of the way. But uh, there's a fair bit to paint up for their revamp, but that's all been done, so happy to get those finished. And if you go on the Plus Channel uh, League page, you'll see that Admech have the green marker, they are battle ready. Uh, the Space Wolves, again, I've got an exciting list proposed for them, again on the Plus channel. That's where you're getting all the constant updates for the new lists, uh, long before you see them here on YouTube. I've actually sent the models away to Siege Studios, it's Siege Studios Army, and uh, James Otero has been sending uh, pictures back uh, just very recently of the progress. They've made, made excellent progress on the units, and uh, so the Space Wolves hopefully ready very soon. And the combo that I want to go for, which has been the, but the most requested battle report on the channel, is that these two fighting against each other would be epic. Space Wolves versus Thousand Suns. We still haven't done it yet, so hopefully they'll be ready soon. See studios get the models finished, uh, and then once they've finished their models, uh, then that'll make the army 2,000 points chapter through, chapter approved ready. Thousand Suns, I've got these to paint up. And then that army will be ready, and then hopefully we'll see these two armies collide. Then uh, we have the Imperial Fists. A uh, new list proposed for them. I've got an idea of a couple of units I need to buy. It's ready to in inject a bit of Primaris into the Imperial Fists, just to uh, put, a, put a bit of life into them and to beef them up a little bit. Um, so Imperial Fists, a couple of units to paint up and then I want to draw upon units that I already have ready and I'm going to try and push to get those ready for maybe April, May kind of time uh, with the Imperial Fists. Uh, then uh, the Red Scorpions uh, for the Space Marines, uh, they're a little bit further down the queue for armies I'm wanting to get revamped but I'm um, closer to get, making more progress with these. Uh, they're actually on my desk at the moment. I've got some paint, uh, some units to paint up uh, for these, and I've got an idea of a list I want to propose for them in the future. But the technique that I have is the Red Scorpions painting tutorial, Primary Space Marines painting tutorial. It's over on the, uh, YouTube. It's quite, a th it's quite effective, quite quick. So if I put my mind to it, I could crack out some units pretty quickly and get those up and running in some games. It'd be great to see them uh, fighting. I do really do like the colour scheme for the Red Scorpions. So. I'll we'll try and get those up and running as well. Then, uh, as you saw, uh, the model being painted up for the Primaris Marines, the Blood Angels, uh, battle ready, got a few finishing touches to do, but the models are, uh, are virtually there. So Blood, Blood Angels, virtually battle ready. They've already played one game, um, and so looking to play uh, their second battle. And they'll, <laughs> they'll need to do well. Otherwise, uh, they'll be in trouble again. I really want to try and vindicate the Blood Angels. They're a difficult army to master. 
I think. But if you can get an assault to go well, they are utterly vicious. And I love my Blood Angels collection. Really love the models, the unique Blood Angels units, like uh, the Librarian Dreadnought, for example, one of my favourites, the Sanguinary Guard, the Death Company, and so on. Fantastic units. So I really want the Blood Angels to do well. And there's quite a big following of them. Uh, they'll be rooting for Blood Angels. Uh, then the Tyranids, there's one other codex which I don't have here at the moment, that's the Necrons. Necrons, uh, I revamped the army, battle ready, uh, they've played their games and they've done well. You can check out how well they've done on, in the league, see how many points they've achieved and where they stand in the league at the moment. But uh, very happy with the Necrons, been using them in the league games, the challenge games, now that army's entirely revamped and ready to use. Tyranids, uh, a lot of people have been asking about them. Uh, again, I want to draw upon the collection I already have. Literally, I want to paint up two new models, and I've entirely revamped a completely fresh new list. I think it's the nastiest so far in a long time. Hopefully, the Tyrians will do well, and we'll see them uh, devouring a number of armies, both in league games and then use them in some challenge battles as well, and then hopefully some apocalypse games uh, for the Tyrians as well. But again, I've got an exciting list for them. Uh, it's over on the Plus channel, and literally two models I need to paint up, and then the revamped list will be ready for war. So that is the update there for all of the factions. Uh, so what the the change in format for the league has forced me to get armies ready as as efficiently and as quickly as possible. Not just saying oh, I'm just going to use the orcs again in 12 games too many games you know just just falling back on them all the time or, or another faction but instead try and play two games moving the factions along try and get the other factions battle ready as well so uh from a hobby perspective uh, it's been good motivation so that's good and then the reward for that for you guys is you get to see a nice variety of games uh, as well in our league battle reports and who knows i've got no idea who's going to uh, win the league this time around. Uh, it could be any of the factions, that, apart from the tail, perhaps who've been been knocked out. I think, but it's really is open. It's been thrown open this year. It could be uh, a real season of surprises uh, to see which factions make it all the way through to the final. So that's pretty much it. Uh, so uh, just to summarise, then, uh, head over to Striker Scorpion eighty two plus dot uh, TV. You've got your league table there, army status, and the introduction to all the armies as well. You don't have to log in, you can just go on there and go through those tabs and you get full access to those, whether you're signed up or not, to the Plus channel. Uh, and then if you are on the Plus channel, there is the Android app for you to use now uh, to enjoy the content. And all of the content is now downloadable uh, as well, so you can watch the content on the go. Uh, there is the Teespring store, so check that out for your Striker Scorpion 82 merchandise on both the Plus channel and the Teespring store. Uh, that helps support me in making the videos. Uh, then for upcoming battles, I've hinted at Imperial Fists, Thousand Suns, Tyranids, maybe Space Wolves as well, uh, coming up uh, quite soon. Uh, and then you've got an idea of what's currently on the painting desk. But there it is, that's the update video for you. Just give you an idea of what's going on, what to expect in the future. Uh, thanks for watching and tune in next time.